final send-off today for an Air Force veteran in Central Kentucky. Johnny Patrick died at a veteran's retirement home last week, but he didn't have any family to give him a proper funeral. So a graveside service was held this morning at Camp Nelson National Cemetery in Nicholasville for distant relatives and other vets who came to pay their respects. WKYT's Mike Byer is in Jessamine County now with that story. Mike. Family and friends of Johnny Patrick say he was a kind person who loved his tomato plants. This morning, loved ones and even complete strangers gathered here at Camp Nelson National Cemetery to say their final goodbye to the fallen veteran. It was amazing to me today at 9 o'clock in the morning, all the people, the staff who came out, I don't know, there must have been a dozen or 10 or 12, and uh, they were so appreciative of him, and then they brought with them residents who could come. Ken Griffith is Patrick's first cousin and is one of his only living family members. Knowing that, the Thompson Hood Veterans Center, where Patrick was a resident, sent out a post on Facebook asking anyone who would like to celebrate the life of the veteran to come out to the cemetery. And dozens of people responded. They consisted of his caretakers, other residents, and even complete strangers. Angie Scanlon helped take care of Patrick for over a year. She says he was a very humble man. He was never one to say an unkind word to anyone. Uh, he was always very pleasant. He was just a very, very good person. Now staff at the Thompson Hood Veterans Center say they just ordered Johnny more tomato plants. They say since he's no longer here to raise them, that they'll do it for him so they can keep the memory of not only their patient, but their friend alive. In Jessamine County, Mike Byer, WKYT. Mike, thank you very much. Patrick was 68 years old when he died last week.